This week, we had a tragic shark attack in Maine, the first ever recorded in the state that led to the death of a 63-year-old woman. Shark attacks are very rare, but they can happen, which is why a lot of focus is put into public awareness and research into shark activity. Now, I want to introduce you to James Sulikowski, a professor and associate director in the School of Mathematical and Natural Sciences who has studied sharks in Maine and other waters for decades. Here are his thoughts on this week's attack and what happens afterwards from a research standpoint. First, it's a terrible, horrible, you know, situation. If the seals are near the coast, that means the sharks are going to be near the coast and human beings are near the coast, right? Um, and, and that's where it gets tough. It's tough. If you look at historical behaviors of, of white sharks and seals, oftentimes the white sharks are looking for individuals that are sick, weak, dying, right? Kind of loners, you know, doing their own kind of thing or not acting normally. And here comes, you know, a, a human being who's swimming uh, in an era where there's a seal colony, where there's, uh, you know, seals swimming around. We as human beings in a wetsuit um, kind of swimming look and resemble a, an injured or sick seal, right? So we're like an easy target. And so they're moving through the water and they're moving like a Mack truck. That Mack truck has teeth, you know, and they're, they're, they're looking to incapacitate, knock out their prey item. And most likely that's the situation that happened, that we have an unfortunate situation where a person was in the wrong place, wrong time. Silikowski said that a photo taken the day before showed that there was definitely shark activity in the area. On Sunday, we actually received a photograph um, from a citizen scientist that had found a seal on the beach that had uh, suffered a white shark encounter. It didn't, didn't, wasn't eaten, didn't die, you know, out at sea. It kind of had this we call it a sort of a failed mortality attempt that the seal wasn't mortally wounded uh, out at sea um, and then once it got to shore and probably died. Um, but it had a, a very big sort of bite mark on it uh, and that bite mark measured about 19 inches. And so that's a, a, an, an at least an 11 foot shark. There's no foolproof way to prevent a shark attack, but there are steps you can take to decrease the risk. There's no one thing we can tell anybody to do. Uh, but what we can do is, is, is tell people it comes down to sort of what your personal risk levels are, okay? And the steps you can take in order to reduce those. And, you know, step number one is that stay away from hot spots, shark activity, right? And those would be where there's lots of seal, um, or you see seals coming around, seal fall out, right? Um, where there's sick and, or, or has anyone seen a sick or injured seal, you know, in that area recently? Um, stay away from large bait balls. Okay, we have, you know, the species, you know, menhaden pogies around here that form these big balls. And seals will run through them. You know, we'll swim right through them and, and, and feed. Stay away from areas like that. Don't go swimming at dawn and dusk. You know, keep shiny things off of you. Um, it, you know, try not to swim alone. Those are all things that, that you can do to reduce your, your chance and your risk of anything happening. But it's like anything else. You drive, right? So, you know, every time you get in a car, you risk getting in an accident. But you wear a seatbelt. You don't run stop, stop sign, you know, you try not to speed too fast, right? Those are all things to reduce your risk. We're not on the menu. They don't want to eat us. And if you can keep that in the back of your mind, then you'll be able to enjoy the beach knowing that, look, this is such a rare event that unless I put myself in a situation where, you know, there are seals, it is dark, I'm wearing a wetsuit, you know, um, then the chances of this happening to me are, you know, you have a better chance of being struck by lightning. You can hear a lot more from our conversation and more of his take on shark attacks on our Shark Tales podcast. Search Shark Tales wherever you listen to podcasts, including Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Thank you for tuning in to Shark Tales. Remember to be aware of your surroundings when you're in the water and always check signage at beaches. Take care, everyone.